Anton, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. I can see from that smile on your face how delighted you are to be here. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's, it's unbelievable. To be honest, I've been waiting for a while for this to be done and, you know, I'm happy it's done and can't wait to get started. And just tell us a little bit more about how the whole move has come about because obviously the interest has been there for a while and it's, it's obviously great to have you here and, and signed over the line. Yeah, the interest was from last, last summer. Um, injury occurred, so um, it kind of um, downplayed a little bit, but continued, came back from injury, started playing well and uh, interest came back again, so you know, I can't complain. It's been a whirlwind 24 hours for you, just tell us a little bit more about what it's entailed. Well, doing the medical for stars, uh, it was really long, but um, yeah, it's just checking the body's right and you know, making sure everything's good, so it consist consisted of that and yeah, a lot of travelling, but you know, I'm here now, so I'm happy. The Premier League, it's the best league in the world, there's no doubt about that. I bet you can't wait to get stuck into yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, dream, I dreamed of this as a kid, so you know, now it's reality, now it's time to get to work. How valuable do you feel that experience in the EFL has been? Obviously, you've had your time with Bristol City and loan spells with Sunderland and Newport as well. Yeah, it was um, very important, to be honest. Um, I'd never been in an academy setup before joining Bristol, so I um, had to learn a lot, learn on the go, and you know, it was so beneficial for me. And you know, leading up to now, I'm so thankful. So can't wait to get started here and you know, show what I can do. Just explain a little bit more about you know, those things that you have had to learn because certainly with the Championship it's a, a tough league, it's very physical. Yeah, it's very, it's very hard. It's, the games are relentless. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday constantly. So you know, having to adapt, recover, make sure your body's right. And you know, I've done that well enough to you know, get this move over the line. So I can't complain, like I said. We've got nine goals already this season for both club and country. Just tell us a little bit more about your style of play and what you might be able to bring to this side. Um, play along the front three, uh, left, right and down the middle. Uh, quick, strong, can use both feet really well. So, you know, I'm hoping I can add that to the team and, you know, help us win games. Do you have a preferred position along that front line or are you just sort of happy to play where the manager sees fit? Yeah, I'm happy to fit? play wherever, yeah. Honestly, I'll do whatever that the manager needs and do a job for the team. Now, back in November, you represented Ghana at your first World Cup. You played minutes against Uruguay and Portugal. That must have been an incredibly proud moment for you. Just tell us a little bit about your memories of that. Yeah, I mean, every time I get asked a question, it's like, I don't even know how to put it into words. It's just it's crazy playing against top players, you know, representing a country as well. It's, it's, it's a big thing, but I loved every moment and, you know, I cherished that for a long time. Now, I believe you already know a few of the lads in our squad. We'll start with the skipper, Lloyd Kelly. I think you were teammates for a brief spell at Bristol City. Just tell us a little bit about your relationship with him. You must be so pleased to be lining yeah, up. Yeah, no, um, I joined and he was um, just coming up in the rankings and stuff. So, you know, he made me very comfortable at Bristol. So, you know, I'm happy I get to join him again. And, you know, he's a skip dog now. So, you know, I'll be, I'll be on his wing. And Jordan Zamora and Jaden Anthony, just tell us a little bit about your relationship. I think it's quite close. <laughs> uh, yeah, I played against them a few times um, when I first signed for Bristol, so I know them through that and, you know, just off the pitch as well. So, Have you spoken to them in the last few days about your potential move and coming down? Have they had things to say? Yeah, I've, I've spoken to them a, a little bit and, you know, they've said positive things. So, you know, I can't wait to join and be with them and the whole squad. Now, I understand your father, Larry, he played football back in the day. How much of an influence has he had on your career? Yeah, he was a big influence um, when I was young. Um, it's funny, I didn't really like football as much as I do now, um, like basketball. And, you know, he used to take me to the park, just kicking the ball left, right. And as years went on, just started loving the game. And, you know, it's through him, I've got to love the game and, you know, embrace it. So I've embraced it through him and, you know, he can say the same thing now. And he's here today as well to watch you make the move. He must be so proud. Yeah, no, they're all proud. They're all proud. Um, you know, it's been a long journey. It's been tough. So, you know, it's nice to reap rewards now. Do you have a message for the AFC Bournemouth fans that are watching this? They're going to welcome you to the club and they must be really looking forward to seeing you play. What, what would your message to them be? Um, ready to work hard, ready to score goals and, you know, win games. So I can't wait to see you guys.